Good morning, everyone. Welcome to St. Henry Catholic Church in Gresham, Oregon. This is Friday in the sixth week of Easter, and Sunday we celebrate the Feast of the Ascension. Just one announcement. Uh, today we were given a, a special gift of a lot of produce, and so we have 600 boxes. They weigh somewhere in excess of 20 pounds. We invite cars this morning from 9 to 12 to drive into the parking lot from 3rd Street. Drive up and we will give you a full box of produce. This goes on for the next four weeks. So you just drive up. The produce will be one day it might be dairy, another day vegetables, another day fruit or combination thereof. So let's uh, celebrate joy today because that's the uh, theme of the gospel with Ludwig von Beethoven's Ode to Joy. <clears throat> joyful, joyful, we adore thee, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before thee, opening to the sun above. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness, drive the dark of doubt away. Giver of immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day. All thy works with joy surround thee, earth and heaven reflect thy rays. Stars and angels sing around thee, center of unbroken praise. Field and forest, vale and mountain, flowery meadow, flashing sea. Chanting bird and flowing fountain, call us to rejoice in thee. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace and joy of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pause a moment and call to mind once more our need for forgiveness from our Heavenly Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Hear our prayers, O Lord, so that what was promised by the sanctifying power of your word may everywhere be accomplished through the working of the gospel, and that all your adopted children may attain what the testimony of truth has foretold. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Our first reading is from the 18th chapter of the Acts of the Apostles. One night while Paul was in Corinth, the Lord said to him in a vision, Do not be afraid. Go on speaking. And do not be silent, for I am with you. No one will attack or harm you, for I have many people in this city. He settled there for a year and a half and taught the word of God among them. But when Gallio was proconsul of Achaia, the Jews rose up together against Paul and brought him to the tribunal, saying, this man is inducing people to worship God contrary to the law. When Paul was about to reply, Gallio said to the Jews, If it were a matter of some crime or malicious fraud, I should with reason hear the complaint of you Jews. But since it is a question of arguments over doctrine and titles and your own law, see to it yourselves. I do not wish to be a judge of such matters. And he drove them away from the tribunal. They all seized Sosthenes, the synagogue official, 
and beat him in full view of the tribunal. But none of this was of a concern to Gallio. Paul remained for quite some time, and after saying farewell to the brothers, he set sail for Syria, together with Priscilla and Aquila. At Sancrie, he had shaved his head because he had taken a vow. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is king of all the earth. All you people, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord the Most High, the Awesome, is the great king over all the earth. God is king of all the earth. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy. The Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our king, sing praise. God is king of all the earth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Christ had to suffer and to rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the 16th chapter of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen. I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. When a woman is in labor, she is in anguish because her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy that a child has been born into the world. So you also now are in anguish, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy away from you. On that day you will not question me about anything. Amen, amen. I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> The theme I chose today, and what the gospel chose today, is the gospel of joy. Jesus makes it very clear to his disciples before he ascended, you were made for joy. Yes, there will be anguish, but you are made for joy. Pope Francis wrote in his gospel of joy, that we are embraced between two joys in our life. The joy of our baptism being named and called and adopted by God the Father as son and daughter and brother and sister to Jesus Christ. That's the first embrace. The second embrace of joy is to share in the very glory of the resurrection when our time comes. So we are on a journey of joy a journey of joy and how does the dictionary define joy it's defined as an emotion of great delight caused by something exceptionally good and satisfying it's a state of happiness that's why we Christians put such importance on the Beatitudes Blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are those who mourn. Blessed are the peacemakers. And one translation reads, Happy are those who mourn. Happy are those who are peacemakers. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. I want to share a story of some happiness that came from, in a sense, some anguish. 
It was over 25 years ago. A friend of the family was pregnant. She was not going to give this child up to abortion. She found someone who wanted a child. She went through the entire pregnancy. The day that the child was born and she was to give it up for adoption, two families met in the chapel at this hospital. I asked them to join at the chapel. The lawyer for the exchange, the adoption, was there. I asked the mother who gave birth among our prayers, what name do you give your child? She gave the child Susan to the child. And then the child, through prayer, was handed over to the couple that was so joyful to receive this child. And I asked them, what name do you give your child? They named the child Anne, but they gave the child the middle name of Susan. There was a certain joy in the room that day, amidst, yes, some anguish and farewell. The family of the mother left through one door, and the family that had adopted this new child went out another door. There was joy in the room because of what was done was in God's hand. It was a journey of joy. Today we are asked to, in a sense, do what they did. Proclaim the gospel based on hope and based on the joy that comes from those who put their trust in Jesus Christ. So today my mantra again is, throughout these times of pandemic, be healthy, be optimistic, be joyful in the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us now make these petitions to our Heavenly Father. We pray today for all of those who have been sick or who have to deal with COVID-19. That would also include our health care people and those families who are caring for those who have COVID-19. For their healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are alone, isolated, and depressed at this time. For they indeed need the Lord Jesus Christ. May they be open to the spirit that will be coming to each one of us as Jesus promised. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And now let's pause a moment and add our own petitions in the silence of our heart. And we make all of these petitions in Jesus' name. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Through this mystery of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. This will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Sisters and brothers, we pray together that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray. 
the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together with unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Alexander and Peter our bishops, with all the clergy and your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Rita Cassia, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you all and with your spirit. Let us now share a sign of peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe. May the blood of Christ keep me safe. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separated from you, let me never be. From the evil one, protect me. And at the hour of my death, call me. And close to you, bid me that with your saints I may be praising you forever and ever. Amen. Keep safe. O oh Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace and joy, giving glory and praise to God. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Mortals, join the mighty chorus, which the morning stars began. Love divine is reigning o'er us, binding all within his fan. Ever singing, march we onward, victors in the midst of strife. Joyful music leads us sunward in the triumph song of life.